Hey guys, me again, and today we have a LG Plasma TV. Uh, as you can see, I already took it apart and started looking into things, and I believe I found the issue. So the problem with this TV is it would not turn on. Uh, the red light would come on, but other than the red light showing up, nothing would happen. It would just, you press the power button, the red light went off, click, click, and nothing else pretty much happened. So I was leaning towards power, the power supply. This is the main power supply. I have it out of the TV right now. And uh, I'll show you why I think that's, oh, this is the culprit. I'll flip it over in a second. But just to show you guys how a plasma TV is put together compared to uh, that other uh, LG TV that I'm working on, look how much more involved it is. So we have big circuit boards, uh, a lot of more complex stuff going on. So, you know, and this was built pretty damn good, if you ask me. It takes a lot of power, yes. And if I look at the sticker on the top here, you can see it's rated for... The panel is rated for 450 watts, so that's, uh, that's a lot of power for a television, you know, compared to the 100 watts somewhat that uh, a newer TV draws. Um, but, I mean, compared to the newer ones, this thing is just an absolute beast. It, uh, it's, uh, how do you say it, it's almost indestructible. <laughs> it's 13 years old, this particular set it was manufactured in March of 2010, according to the other sticker I have of this TV. So it's lasted 13 years and it's going to probably last a lot more because this is uh, repairable. Unlike the uh, newer garbage TVs that I see, the Hisense, uh, the Hi Hair uh, on TCL, RCA, uh, those low-end TVs, it's just once they break, it's time to recycle them and move on. So whereas this TV you can take it apart and there's no stupid backlight issues usually with these TVs and uh, no LED backlights you have to mess with. It's really a uh, power supply, maybe the sustain board, so <sighs> relatively easy to work on. Um so basically this is our I think this is our X sustain board if I'm not mistaken and our Y sustain board is over here. Uh, our X and our Y. Um, so, and then we have our timing controller board right here, and then we have our main board, our processing board over there. And pretty much it, we have a line filter over here. This is our AC input. And then right next to it, there's our lane filter. Uh, it comes up to here, and then the power supply, which will go there. And that's what we have taken out right now, because like I said, I think the issue, I'm pretty certain is gonna be with this power supply. And with most plasmas, unfortunately, because of the heat that these things generate, um, if I lift this up over here, everything is pretty much discharged, that's why I'm not too scared of holding it. Uh, you probably can't see it on camera, but there's a bit of discoloration here on the top, over here on the top corner, and uh, I'll show you what I found. So I'm gonna put this down. Look what I found over here. You see this guy over here? <laughs> we got a couple of broken connections. So him, him, over here a bit maybe. So it's, and you can see the discoloration a bit here. This is where a lot of heat was uh, concentrated. So we got some questionable connections and we might have a couple more. I'm just looking over with my eye. Uh, I don't see anything right now, but maybe when I put my goggles on, I might see a bit more. Um, yeah, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and bring it upstairs because I don't have my soldering station downstairs, unfortunately, because I'm in my basement right now. I'm going to bring this power supply upstairs. We're going to fix that. And uh, hopefully it will bring this thing back to life, you know. So, uh, yeah, here we go. And you, also, you can see here's the, the dashed line. You see this dashed line that goes all the way around? This is to indicate the uh, separation between the primary side and the secondary side, the hot and cold side. So the cold side is over here. It goes all the way around. All this is the cold side, the secondary side. And then the primary side, the hot side, is here. See? And it tells you well, it tells you right here, primary, secondary. So the hot side is all this stuff here. And this looks like our PWM IC, I believe. It, it, look, well, it certainly looks like it. I can't say for certain. Well, it would make sense, actually. You know, Yes, it would make sense. Here we go. This is why. So this is our PWM IC. This is our our transform our, our our transformer to uh, to the secondary side, and uh, as you can see, we lost our connection on the uh, primary side of this transformer. 
So this is our primary winding, this is our secondary winding. And uh, yeah, no wonder. So I believe that should solve the issue. We might have a bit of other broken connections somewhere. Uh, so I'm gonna have to take a look. We have another transform over here, I see. Uh, I have to keep looking and we have a couple here, but these seem to be fine. So we're gonna fix it up with the soldering iron and uh, we're gonna slap it all back together and hopefully this should fix the problem. And uh, our customer will be happy with uh, his uh, TV and hopefully it will last a lot longer. So let me go do that and uh, I'll show you guys what I, what I come up with after. Okay, we are back and I thought I'd show you right before I put it back in the TV. So this is the power supply. I have it up on my table now here. And I checked with my uh, graphical multimeter. I checked all the fuses. They are okay. One, this is the first one, second one, and then the third one over here, which comes straight off the mains plug. Uh, I didn't power it on actually because I've. I'm just gonna put it back together because I'm pretty certain it's gonna fix the problem, because it's not the first time I see plasma TVs with this issue. So basically, um, what happened was over here actually it was right here. Yeah, so it's right here. That was where the connection was broken. I uh, patched it with uh, just a solder blob. I soldered it together because it's the same pad, same trace. Oops. So that's now soldered back together um and there were a couple of connections a bit all over the place that seemed to be weak so i fixed those as well and uh like these trans transistors here so these were touched up because they were looking like they were gonna about to crack over here too whatever is under there so yeah basically all the connections were touched up well, all the connections that needed to be touched up were touched up yeah, this was the heat sink. So this is the heat sink here, and that goes all the way down there, I think. Yeah, you see? So it goes from here all the way down over here, over here on this side. Yeah, so there's these two connections over there. That's the heat sink as well, and those are fine. Really, it was just over here in this area that seemed to need the most attention. There was, again, maybe a couple over here, but not too many. So I touched everything up that I saw that seemed to be a bit iffy. And uh, yeah, now what we're going to do is we're going to bring it downstairs, put it back in the TV, and hopefully we get a picture. So uh, let's do that right now. All right, so everything is back together. I had to tighten some of the screws around this TV because with any plasma TV, we're going to probably have uh, loose ground screws. So those were all tightened up, any of them that were loose. Um, now the only thing that's left is plug in the cord and see what happens. Let's plug in the cord. It's plugged in. Let's see what happens. Here we go. We have a picture. So, I would say this is fixed. Um, or cursing down. So basically that's in French saying, no signal. So, I would say that this is repaired. Um, I'm going to see if I can put a signal into this quickly. Actually, yeah, let me do that. I'm going to go get my, my laptop. And uh, we're going to see if we... We get a signal when I plug in, we should. So this is already a good sign. Let me just go ahead and power off and power on the TV here. And press the power off button. There you go. That's off. And yeah, it's going to stay off. I'm just going to look in the back quickly here for a second just to make sure I don't see anything out of the ordinary. Uh, nope, everything is okay. So let me see if I my power it on. So I'm gonna go ahead press the now I see the standby lights on. I'm gonna go ahead press the power button. There we go. And there goes the TV. Yeah, you probably saw that. The backlight came on, and there we go. HDMI three, no signal. Okay, so let me go get my laptop, and uh, we're gonna see if we fire it when we plug it in, and. Uh, we're going to see what kind of picture we get out of this thing. Alright, so here we have a picture on the screen. It is the aquarium that I found on YouTube, just a random video. But uh, yeah, we have our picture. It's working. Um, and as you can hear, also sound is coming out. Um, the only thing that I do notice is there are two lines appearing. And I don't think that is because... I would very, that's not because of the power supply. It's probably because some cables are dirty or... It's just the display getting old and the pixels are appearing so not much that i can do about that um yeah but otherwise i would say this is uh this would be a success and we have our 
our TV back and uh, hopefully he will be happy with it and he can use it for whatever reason he that may be uh, but yeah that would be pretty that's gonna be pretty much the end of this video so yeah that's my laptop um, yeah if you guys like the video please leave a thumbs up put a comment down in the bleep bloop section below if you want to and uh, make sure you subscribe and you hit the bell so that you don't miss a new video when I upload one until next time take care guys bye bye